So, what are we doing today? Well, we're playing with round things. You might recall, if you're a regular watcher of my videos, that I electrified my blinds, and not in a dangerous way. I made uh, a little drive gear that would run the chain up and down. Um, and uh, this is a few months on, and I made two different styles of gear. One was a little more aggressive than the other. Uh, this was the lesser aggressive one, and it's started to slip, which is what the first one did originally. So uh, I think it's time to make a few more of these. Uh, this is going to be a short video today, but um, I'm just going to get into the laser cutter and cut a few more of the, a few more of these and cut them, and we'll glue them together and make them work. Um, luckily, this is the easily accessible one. Uh, the more aggressive gear I tried out on the more difficult to access. We'll take a quick look at that. We move up over here we'll see that uh, over in the corner right up in here that's the hard to access one that window really only opens um, a few inches uh, because one of the lead weights that uh, the counterweights has fallen down inside the window there so that actually gets plugged up with my extraction vents and uh, cowls and everything over there the other one is uh, right over here just outside this open window, just around the corner there, I can get to that one easy. So that's the one I've used for the most likely to fail gears. So um, let's go and fire up the laser cutter and uh, we'll just have some fun. Right, so we're out in the workshop and uh, it's a messy workshop. There's a lot of cleaning up to do. I've got to rearrange all of this. This is all stuff that's just landed on my doorstep and donations and offcuts and stuff. All this needs to be sorted out at some point. Now, today we're going to try something different. I've got my little GoPro here, my brand new GoPro. Wait, I need to turn a few things on here first. Go up and turn on that computer. So the GoPro, I'm going to try and do the time lapse in the laser cutter today. Instead of uh, my phone slash camera that I'm using for this one. Um, to avoid an issue like I had last time where... I accidentally cut a big or cut right through the bloody tempered glass screen protector on the front of this phone. Uh, unscripted videos mean that you end up making a lot of speech mistakes on the video, but it's all good. This is just channel filler. You didn't hear that. These are not the droids you're looking for. Huh. Okay, so I've got some issues with that. That's an old office machine that we're going to use top of my laser cutter is really dusty so let's oh that's right had to access my gun safe the other night the first time in forever um and all the connections are unplugged so give me a moment while i plug them back in all right so that's all the cables are located let's fire things up here my extraction fan fire up the laser this is where things get noisy and uh where i cut to time lapse So the time lapse done, we've got a bunch of bits. This is our original. So let's assemble some cogged Oreos here. So we've got, this is loosely how they will go together in that fashion. I have some Loctite super glue. Uh, this is the civilian edition, if you could call it that, of Loctite 406. Um, the type that I used to repair hearing aids much along once upon a time. Uh, we'd reassemble e-molds and whatnot and install the um, acoustic tubes, all sorts of stuff. That's uh, quite a safe one once it's set. So, um, yeah, pretty much uh, the way I assemble these things, because there is a keyway on them, is uh, I assemble these on the shaft of the uh, drive motor. So let's move locations to the drive motor. This is a uh, fairly tricky position to uh, film at. So uh, I'm only assembling one at the moment. I made one for spares. But uh, we're going to put our first flange on here to a comfortable position. 
and then we will uh, apply a bit of super glue and assemble our second one. I just want to make sure which way around I want to put this before I push it on here. And then once this is glued on, we'll have to remove this and then add the chain to it. So here goes with a bit of super glue. We're going to add just a little bit to the face here because a little bit goes a really long way with this stuff. And we will assemble. There we go. We'll push the first one and hold for a moment. And uh, I'm going to do this in the one cut just because of the challenges involved in only having two hands and a bit of dexterity issues because of the often noted multiple sclerosis I have. Okay. Now when you cut with a laser there's a slight taper. So that's why I'm test fitting these gears first to make sure I have the taper on the correct side. So let's um, go on here and insert and push on. And then my last shield is coming up. I'll test fit that. And then we'll leave it all to dry for a little bit and come back. Here's a little bit of glue here again. Oh, I've got the shakes at the moment. Oh, it could be lunchtime or a bit later. All right, to assemble all this. Okay, we'll let this um, set and we'll be back. All right, now it's set. I'm gonna wriggle this off. It takes a bit of pressure um, before the glue sets totally on the internal shaft. Now I need to work out what direction this is gonna go in first. Um, so I'm going to uh, go and switch the motor on and observe which way it turns. The motor driving in the downward direction and it is rotating clockwise. So, we have it rotating clockwise. That's the direction it needs to be. So we'll leave that loosely sitting that way and uh, I'll go and turn the motor off. Okay, the motor is off. The keyway is in a good position. So let's rotate this round. Now this could require a bit of tension. I know what's going on. Okay, I think there might've been a bit of chain stretch has been involved. That feels very good and firm. So let's go inside and see if this works. Okay, so this should be downward driving mode. Let's turn on our gear here. We should be able to see through the back and all the wires. Or maybe not. Let's go over the top. Might be able to see through the gap through the cable gantry. Which is messy. That needs cleaning up. Let's just wait here. Aha! It is winding down. All right. Now, the problem I had before was when I drive it upwards from the bottom, it would clip. Oh, there's uh, my apprentice's toy waffles that need some repair. And I need to clean up my desk. Okay, good waffles. Okay, okay, that's good waffles. Now, let's go the other way and we'll wind up. Now, it was slipping when it would drive up before, and we now have no more slip. So that's good. Our electric lines work again. All right, and uh, under load. Well, I just changed direction. The wind started blowing it outwards. Well, ah, I got stuck on something. Ah, there's a piece of wire I have to hold the window up, and it got stuck on that and bent it out. But it didn't slip, so that means there's a fair bit of torque on there. That's good. Let's continue winding. Now we can see here we're pulling less than 100 milliamps while it's running, which is a drop in current. It was starting to pull quite a bit of current before, so I think the drive is a little bit uh, improved. Let's move up the very top here, and we should be able to see it's right up the top. Go down again, and let's go back up again. All right, I'm happy. Well, I guess that's a successful fix, and... Uh, I guess we'll have to move on to the waffles video and get uh, waffles fixed. He's suffered a, uh, a a bit of a back injury here. There's a picky stuffings come out or something. Anyway, I've got to fix that one soon. Anyway, that's it for these gears. So, uh, yeah, not much else to say. It works. I've got spares and uh, my electric blinds are electric 
and they're not electrifying anybody. So, on to the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.